Right, this, I've got to say, Mick, is going to be very exciting for me. All right, OK. And I think for my viewers as well. So you're going to teach us all about, first of all, we're going to talk about diamonds. Yeah, OK. OK, so real diamonds as opposed to fake diamonds. Yeah. Talk to me. Uh, right, basically. Uh... Oh, you've even got two separate <laughs> sets of spectacles. I'm I like it. I'm blind as a bat, yeah. <laughs> uh, on a personal note, I, I, I hate modern fake diamonds. Okay. Mosinites, lab-grown diamonds, yeah. cubic zirconas. Uh, they do look very nice. Yeah. But they're worth nothing once you've paid, once you've bought them. And now this is interesting because there is a thing, isn't there now? You know, these, we talk about blood diamonds yeah. coming out of Africa. We, we know what they are. Or if you don't know what they are, should we just explain what a blood diamond is? So it's an, it, it, an illegally mined diamond. It is, yeah, lots of run by the military. And... Run by the military in different African countries. Yeah. Or maybe not, strictly speaking, illegal coming out of those countries because what they're doing is, is legal for yeah. them. It's just... It's ethically. It's ethically, not, yeah. it's horrific. It's slave labour yeah. and all of that. So the argument for creating a lab-made diamond is it's ethical. But do you, what, what, what do you feel about that? Uh, it is, but there's plenty of other countries that produce diamonds. Exactly. There's uh, yeah. lots of modern diamonds coming out of Canada, yes. uh, India, uh, Russia. Right. So uh, you don't have to buy the South African diamonds. No. It's just well, I think the South African ones are probably all right. It's, it's the other parts of Africa, yeah. isn't it? Central, Congo, Zimbabwe, places yeah. like that. Um, and of course, if a diamond is old, then it's already been created. It's already been mined. It you does, couldn't yeah. get more environmentally friendly than an old diamond. No, that's true. Yeah. I mean, okay, it's an interesting thing. But these lab-made Diamonds. I wouldn't be able to tell a difference between that and a real one. Uh, you would. The, yeah, that you can by the eye. I mean, this is this is a, a, a Georgian, the Indian stones. Uh, Indian. This is cut in probably about eighteen hundred. Oh, that's lovely. And it's reset in a Victorian ring. Uh, and that is spectacular, isn't it? Yeah. If you see the sparkle, it's in the sunlight. It's it's even better. But the quality is so much better. Is it of the old cut stones? Yeah. And is. The old cut stone, it is, that won't be absolutely precise, will it? No, it isn't. So it's almost looking for little imperfections in the cut. It is. I mean, this one's good because there's no carbon spots on it. These are really, really good stones. And so what kind of machinery, if any, would actually cut that? Uh, basically, yeah, uh, like a diamond-encrusted sandpaper these days. Right, to. yes. So the work involved in creating those stones. It was, it was fabulous, yeah. And most of them were cut actually at the mine where they were, where they were mined. Is that right? Yeah. So when, when you look at a, a modern cut diamond, what is the difference? Is it the perfection that is really a bit dull and a bit boring? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, modern stones, they're all computer cut now. Right. Uh, and they are so precise, everyone is yes. cut exactly the same. Okay. As yeah. opposed to this, they'll follow natural lines and shapes onto the stone. Wonderful. And that's why the, the imperfections, but the, the sparkles, beautiful. And that, that's a later diamond. This is a, okay. Vic, a Victorian. Um, Again, old cut, old obviously. Cut, yeah. yeah. Very sparkly. And what kind of carrot is that? Uh, I think that was about 0.8. And, and, and that in total? Uh, Total is just under three carat. You can see that now within the reflection. Look at that. I mean, it's like a disco, isn't it? It's is stunning. It's like a real, is, there's yeah. a disco dance going yeah. on there somewhere, isn't it? That is incredible. What kind of value would that be? Six to 8,000. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Now you mentioned investments. So six to 8,000. We've got diamonds here that are 225 years old. Yeah. The value, I'm assuming, is always going to be pretty good. With just the old diamonds? Yeah, it's, it's going up, it's going through the roof now. Okay. Uh, lots of the modern jewellery designers are buying rings like this. They'll pop the stones out and put them in new settings. As opposed to new cut diamonds As, or, the, or the fake diamonds? Yeah. Okay, so this is six to eight thousand. Yeah. How much would somebody likely pay for a brand new ring with the lab made diamonds at that sort of size and carrot? Uh, would it be far off? Not, no, probably 
five to six thousand. Right, and then the value of this, you're saying, will remain and go up. And go up, yeah. So the value of the lab cut diamond uh, from five to six thousand, what's it worth in two years? Uh, it's the weight of the gold, really. You're kidding me. Yeah, basically, yeah. So how is it affecting your end of the business, the antique side? Are more and more people now wanting? Yes, very sought after. Very, very sought after, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what's the future for these lab cut diamonds? Uh, some people are happy buying them. Mm. Uh, but if it's for an investment piece, something to leave to your children, uh, they'll be quite disappointed. <laughs> As opposed to our grandchildren, be very, very pleased. <laughs>